everybody. Today we're going to be working with charcoal, which is a medium that we featured in September's Smart Art Box. We're going to be practicing gesture drawing, which is really all about capturing the rhythm and movement of figures and focusing less on fine detail and sharp defined lines. So we want to keep our arm really loose, really have fluid lines and basic shapes to complete our figure. We're going to need a model, so we're going to use our wood mannequin, which was also in this month's box. And you can really use this to play around with the poses, you know, move the arms around, uh, play with the inclination of the torso and the head, move the legs, and really get as many different poses as you can to practice from. So we're going to set this up and we'll get started sketching. All right, so we're going to start by darkening up our background a little bit. So we're going to take one of our thicker pieces of charcoal and just gently rub it up and down the paper until that with very little pressure you can really get a nice dark shade coming down on it. So we're gonna go all around the paper. Okay, then with our chamois cloth we're gonna go back in and blend that all in just to create a gray tone to our background. Little circular motions will really work well until the paper is textured. This is really nice for charcoal. Gives it a nice effect. Alright, that looks about good. Alright, and we're gonna use a thinner piece of charcoal to start sketching. And we wanna always start with just a vertical line or reference that will go parallel to our piece of paper. So we're just a nice long line down the middle. Okay, and I'm gonna look at my mannequin and find where the shoulders are gonna go, create an axis line there. Same thing for our hips. Look good. And now just using a neck shape, kind of gesture in that chest there. And the mannequin has really basic shapes that you can use and copy, has a bit of a circle there. Now we're gonna add in the pelvis. Nice bowl-like shape. Okay, so you can do a nice sharp line. And if you wanna soften that up a little bit, you can go back in with the cloth. Okay. Okay, now we're gonna bring in the shoulders, the neck to rest underneath the shoulders here. Prop on the head. I said really basic, basic lines, just to get the full figure in one picture. Okay, we're gonna cut the head in half, kind of get where the eyes would go here. And taking that eye, follow it down to the end of the pelvis here, and that's where our leg will start coming from. Now we wanna get our legs to be at least as long as the whole upper uh, part of your sketch. So we want to kind of eyeball it there and it's gonna go all the way down, it seems like. Okay, quick little ankle and foot at the very bottom. Just know where that ends. We cut that leg in half and that's where our knee belongs. All right, to find the place for our other knee, we're gonna create the axis of where that's going in relation to our mannequin. Now we can bring down that leg, and there, and then bring it down. You see I'm doing very quick lines, just trying to keep moving. Right, we're gonna go back up to our arms now, again using your mannequin shapes. Circle there for the socket, bring your arm down, and mitten-like hands work best. Not trying to be detailed, just wanting to get the whole pose in. All right, same with the other side. Arms going in at an angle here. I'm coming back behind the head. Okay, you can go back in and sharpen up the lines a little bit if you want to. We can also fill in the legs a little bit. You can tell our figure is 3D, it's not just sticks. You can go in and add a little bit more detail if you want. Just kind of end it there. You want to keep your sketches under two minutes, you're really just wanting to get the full figure and get the pose and move on. All right, if you want to start again, you can use the same page and just wipe it all clean. Maybe change your pose a little bit or practice that again. And that's it. All right, so now that I have my basic sketch down, I'm gonna go back in and add a few more details to it. Maybe a few pieces of clothing, some shadows and lighting. I'm gonna use my other tools, my kneaded eraser, to add some highlights to the skin tone, and just go back in and have fun and get a little bit more detailed. All right, let's get started.
have it. That is our basics to our gesture drawing. Now you don't have to stop there. You can always go back in, fill in your drawing, add some garments, maybe some hair. Use the charcoal to make some shadows. Take your kneaded eraser and add highlights to the skin tones. Really just have fun and play with it. You can do a lot of things with charcoal and really take advantage of your full sketch pad. All right guys, thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up, share and subscribe to our channel. And remember, every month you have a chance to win a free Smart Art Box by submitting your final project to our Facebook page and hashtagging Smart Art Box. Thanks guys, till next time.